Hello, welcome to this week's Retro Tech 100 Facebook Pages 20p Arcade Challenge. This week it's my selection. I would say it's a classic, but it's kind of not really. But it is a Sega game made in 1989. It is Eastwatt which is a bit of a mixed bag and it's obviously not inspired at all by Robocop but it's one of my favourite movies ever 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 so uh, yeah that could be why I kind of like this game it's it's a guilty pleasure it's not the best in the world but it's not the worst as you can see in practice I got to about stage 8 or 3 2 as it says in the uh, in the high school board um, the idea of the game is to start off as a lowly police officer and work your way through the ranks to captain to lieutenant to basically earn your stripes and get these amazing eSWAT cybernetic suits to fight crime in um, it's a much better game in two player single player it's a lot of pattern memorization um, it's a lot of things like that so uh, yeah I don't remember the patterns at all. So, so this is going to be fun. I'm just adjusting the mic a little bit because apparently I'm clipping. Am I clipping anymore? Hello? No, I'm not. Right, okay. Top quality production here at the moment, folks. I, uh, it's like 3.30 in the morning. So I've turned the mic up so that I don't have to speak as loud. Um, so, yeah, I might clip. I might not. Apologies if I do. I guess... I'll look at the video later and find out. But as the rules of the RetroTech 100 Facebook page dictate, your first recorded run is the one you submit. So I'm sorry if there are clipping issues. I can't go back and redo this. So here we go. Two credits to get through as much of the game as I possibly can. Let's go. So the car looks familiar, doesn't it? It looks like the one from Streets of Rage. Hey, let's party at the Sega International Bank. So I used to be able to memorize all the enemy patterns when I was a kid. I pumped so much money into this arcade machine. It was uh, one of the, the, the games that my friends and I played every time we went roller skating at our local... Uh, leisure center and when our roller skating was done on a Saturday afternoon we'd go up and play Eastwatt and Golden Axe and that's just our Saturdays basically good times speaking of good times let them roll on to stage two okay we're not too bad we did take one chunk of damage but we still have all our health bars intact, which is good, because we are going to need them. I can be quite liberal with my use of bullets here. We do have a limited amount of them, but uh, running out isn't as big a deal on this level as it is on others. So we're just going to get the guys as they come out the door here. We're going to get this guy as he comes down and then we're going to waste the rest of our bullets. That may seem counterintuitive, but just trust me on this. <laughs> just karate kick the guy in the face, one shot and he's down. If you use your gun, you have to avoid hitting the hostage and it's a pain in the ass. So it's best just to kick him in the face and move on. Doing a bit of fence hopping. I'm leading my bullets forward as well. Oh, that's not good. I couldn't avoid taking damage there. Now the boss of this level is a pain in the backside because I'm getting older, my reaction times are quite slow now compared to what they used to be when I was a kid and dodging these anchors is a tricky task. Yeah, I'm not quite speedy enough. I took damage but I still have all my lives intact which is good. I'm going to need them because this level, even though I've got the super powered cybernetic suit, is a game breaker if you mess up. 
and I'm going to mess up. I messed up every time in practice trying to get this pedophile that looks like the office manager in office space. Yeah, I'm going to need you to come in on the weekend. Ah. Not only are my reaction time slow, it is like 3.30 in the morning here as well, which certainly doesn't help. I took a lot of damage there. But we made it, we're carrying on. Could be worse. Oh, that's not good. Put it back. You need that power up for that area. There's no real way of doing it without it. Okay. Stage six. Here we go. Missed. Oh, I'm down to my last bullet as well. Okay, I'm gonna have to shoot this. Now, this level's tricky. You have to dodge the TNT, work your way through the building as it's blowing up. Okay, that's credit one down, but we do have our second credit, so here we go. Ah, oh, took more damage. Nuts. But we have cleared the level. And we're up against Ratsley now and his Tiger of Doom. So let's go to Chinatown. And take that motherfucker down. Okay, my game froze hard then. I don't know what happened there. Hopefully the recording's okay. But the game chugged seriously bad for a moment. Okay, he's down. Stage 8, here we come. Okay, this is where I get to in practice. It's a tough level. You've got these acrobatic ladies. They do a lot of damage if left unattended. Okay, fairly clean. Ah, the King Kong boss. Throwing barrels? I wonder where you got that idea from, Sega. And it weren't Congo Bongo, that's for sure. Okay, so Gorilla down. Stage 9. 
from Gorillas to the Eagle Stadium. And this is this is where I used to die a lot as a kid. I've got no uh, no power ups left, so I'm just gonna work my way with the the regular old gun. And there we are. 283500 level 9 Eagle Stadium. Heading towards gate 21. I'm not sure how far through the level I am. It wasn't very far. But there we are. That's the end of the run. Hopefully the recording is okay. It looks like it's dropped a few frames. But hopefully it's watchable. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened there. I think my antivirus started just scanning the PC or something. But anyway, I can't go back and change it because you only are, you're only allowed one recorded run, so this is it. So regardless of whether we got frame drops or slowdowns or what have you, even though the game slowed down and I died once, that is it, people. So I didn't get anywhere near as far as I'd like. I can't get anywhere near as far as I could as a kid, but that is my run nonetheless. You win some, you lose some. I hope you join in. The Retro Tech Facebook page is uh is is a good place to be there's some good people there some kind people and uh the more the merrier with these challenges it's nice to have fresh blood to compete against and if it gets competitive and people are close and there's a close battle between various players um and the the games are close it's just much more interesting than if one person just runs away with it all the time so the more fresh blood the merrier more competition equals more good of more fun so, I hope to see you there. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel. Please touch my bell end. Subscribe to me. You know, you've got to touch that bell end to make sure you get notifications of when I release new videos. I'm quite busy at the moment, so I'm not releasing videos very often. So, it's really important that you do hit that bell so that you don't miss it when I do upload a video. Until the next time, people. I wish you good night. It's now a quarter to four in the morning. Uh, it's Father's Day, so I've got a long day ahead of me with my kids. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to bed. Good night, folks. Bye for now.